Hey everybody, welcome back to Up by the Popcorn. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. So we are coming to the end of the year, and not only that, but we are at the end of a decade. Can you believe it? We're saying goodbye to the tens and hello to the twenties. Today we're gonna to be talking about my top 10 animated movies of the decade. Now film is subjective and of course what I have on my list may not even be on your list but there is no right or wrong answer here. Everybody has their own personal opinion so let's not be ugly down in the comment section below but you know what you guys let me know what your favorites are and let's see if we have at least one movie in common. Now my choices are going to be multiple ones within the same year. They're not necessarily going to start from 2010 and go on to 2019. There are a few years that I don't even have any movies in there. This is just how I'm doing my list but if you want to do it where you pick a movie from each individual year then you know what you go for it so with that said let's go ahead and get on with my number 10 pick and it's going to be a 2016 film and i'm just going to go ahead and say it that i'm going to start off with a movie that's going to be very like really that's on your list well uh, ladies and gentlemen because this is not for kids again youtube not for children that would be Sausage Party. I know you guys are like, what the hell? Don't click out of here. Please do not click out of my video. Get, get to the end. Get to the end. It'll get better. It'll get better. This is probably the only one that's more of a like a really controversy kind of deal. I don't know. I enjoyed it. I thought it was funny. I still, when I watch it, I'm just like, what is that? What, what am I witnessing? That food orgy. Sometimes, you know, when I'm eating a baby carrot, I'm like, are you really alive? And honestly, it was going to be an honorable mention. And once I get to my honorable mentions, you guys are going to be like, really, you kicked that off for Sausage Party? And yes, yes, I did. I did kick off my top honorable mention one for Sausage Party. Do not judge me. You're going to judge me, but be nice about it. Let's move on. Number nine. And that will be 2014's Big Hero 6. And I did just rewatch it today because I wanted to make sure that it did indeed need to be on my list or if I was going to switch it off for one of something else that I had as an honorable mention. But no, it full on belongs there. If you have not seen Big Hero 6, it's such a great, great movie. I love Baymax. He's so cute and lovable. And he just wants to help everybody. And then there's Hero, who's this, like this really brainy, like 14-year-old who's literally like a genius. And I mean, he goes through some things. He's trying to find closure in the death of his brother. Yes, there's going to be spoilers here, you guys. But it came out 2014, you guys. If you have not seen Big Hero 6, you must watch. You must watch everything that's on this list, you guys, because it's great. I did get emotional the few times that I did see it. I got a little bit emotional this time around, too. I did, like, tear up just a little bit. Fa la 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 You guys are going to be doing that after you watch the movie. But it's worth it. Coming in at number eight will be 2016's Zootopia. Everybody wants to go there because they want bigger and better things. You know, we of course we've got the cute little bunny rabbit who is literally the smallest uh, cop there is in Zootopia, but she does not care because she knows that she is a great police officer and she's not gonna let these big old like rhinoceros, elephants, giraffes, and everything that's you know the lions and everybody you know put her down. You know, she is very positive and she's gonna be the best. Uh, meet me that there is and of course you know we do get jason bateman voicing the fox and i love jason bateman but just the overall story and the message that it's giving it's just absolutely great and of course you have Flash. and i just love him one of my favorite characters coming in in seventh place would be 2018's spider-man into the spider-verse and i honestly don't feel like the trailer really gave it justice because i honestly when i first saw it i was just like no like really you're you're, you're doing this and it just it did not call my attention the reason i gave it a chance was because everybody kept talking about how great it was but even at that i was just like ah whatever like you know i've said it a couple times i'm not like a big like comic book person so i was like okay it's fine i'll wait for it so i can stream it and then of course awards season came around and it just like took everything and i'm just like oh okay i gotta watch you now so i just ended up waiting for it to come on netflix and i just absolutely loved it and i really need to watch it on a bigger screen because i was just there like that plane ride was so quick you guys because i'm just like whoa at one point i went oh it was I don't know if I scared anybody on the plane. I don't even care. But it was just so good. The story, the overall story of it was just so interesting. And quite honestly, out of the all the Spider-Man movies, this might be like top three. Coming in sixth place would be 2012's 
Dun 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 circus dun 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 Afro circus Afro circus Afro polka dot polka dot polka dot Afro That's right Madagascar is Europe's most wanted I think this is just the most exciting movie that there was If you do not wish for that circus to be real What is wrong with you? Because like wow like th th I remember watching that and I'm just like that's the type of circus I want to go to that's the circus that I want to see they don't even have circus anymore right they closed them down but like that right there you guys is how you do a circus because that was amazing I love the whole concept of everything you know the French villain was amazing uh, another favorite scene besides you know all the balloons for the children of the world would be when Dubois comes in with all her poor like co-workers are all like injured and everything when she starts seeing it speed off like oh I felt it in my soul and she felt it and everybody felt it because she was crying and that is my horrible French accent of course you know the game is trying to get back to New York as they have been throughout since the beginning they get back to New York they get back to their you know zoo and they realize that they're not happy one of the penguins got married to a little like hulu dancer bobblehead deal so i do love all the madagascar movies but this one was just my favorite and there's already two other movies that i have here that i'm going to kind of categorize them as a whole franchise so i really didn't want to add like a third movie with multiple parts in there so i thought two was enough all right you guys we have made it halfway but before i give you my top five here are a few honorable mentions and coop the two strings is actually the one that i was talking about from the beginning that i had as my number 10 spot but pushed it off to the side for sausage party i know most of you or rather all of you are probably like really really you kicked coop the two strings out for sausage party yes yes i did Quite honestly, I just always go back to if they were on TV, which one would I watch? And Sausage Party would be the one that I would watch. So coming in in fifth place would be Toy Story 3 and 4. And I know some of you are probably like, well, Stephanie, Toy Story 2 came out within a decade as well. Why is that not on your list? Well, dear viewer, it is because I was not a big fan of Toy Story 2. I honestly saw Toy Story 2 like way later after it came out. I think part 3 was about to come out. When I finally saw Toy Story 2, it's possibly my least favorite out of the four movies. We got an uh, ending to Andy, we got an ending to Woody. Both these freaking movies made me cry like a lot. And I honestly believe I cried more with Toy Story 3 just because, you know, we knew Andy. I didn't necessarily grow up with him. I was already like older when Toy Story came out, but regardless, I'm a kid at heart. And just to see him, you know, from being a kid to going off to college, it was just like, oh my God, so emotional. And that final scene, so great, you guys. And I just like waterworks just coming down. You know, of course, part four. I won't give you guys any spoilers on that one because it is still within the year. So in case you haven't seen it, and if you haven't seen it, oh my God, why have you not seen Toy Story 4? The little doll from part four, I don't remember her name was very creepy especially because she has a damn ventriloquist uh like henchman like could it get any more creepier than that and then at one point we thought they were about to die and get murdered we're like oh my god this is like the end this could not be the end obviously it wasn't the end and then fourth place would be the how to train your dragon trilogy this is another one that i i don't think i cried with the first two I don't think I did maybe I did I don't know I cry in a lot of things especially animation I know my sister she always thinks it's weird they're like Stephanie that's like a cartoon why are you crying with a cartoon I'm just like <laughs> because you can attach like the emotion she did cry in Toy Story though wait did you cry in Toy Story Toy Story 3 did you cry I know you said you didn't cry in 4 let me know down below and let me know down below and don't comment don't like text me let the world know whether you cried in part three or not maybe you just got emotional i don't let me know anyway it goes back to how we train the dragon i really really hope that this year since it is the end of the trilogy that it gets nominated not only does it get nominated but that it wins best animated picture and i feel like they close this story so beautifully so perfect got to see hiccup grow we got to see him lose a limb we saw him lose a parent gain a parent we saw this lovely character just grow up and become this like great man this great father you know husband 
chief in the midst of it all lose his best friend um not like in death just so he can go out and you know start his life and start his family so beautiful and then just the way that it ends i part three literally i was just <laughs> i the point where i knew he was gonna give him up i was like this is it this is it this is goodbye goodbye toothless i'm getting all emotional like i my eyes are literally cheering up you guys because i'm just like thinking about it that just broke my heart like in a good way because you know it was right but it was it was hard and yes i did put it before toy story because i find it to be a better movie a better, better story than toy story i mean it's freaking dragons you guys and over here they're just toys i mean don't get me wrong i, like, I love both of them but it's dragons and vikings you know so like don't at me <laughs> we're almost there you guys coming in third place would be 2016's Sing. I don't understand why Sing has such a bad reputation. I, there's been a lot of people that just do not like this movie. I really loved it. I think it's great. From here down are the ones that I literally would rewatch all the time. One of my favorite scenes is when uh, Rosita is in the grocery store and kind of builds her confidence. It was really funny. It was really entertaining. I loved all the performances. Um, they were doing the competition. I was literally like, you know getting my little mini groove on because I don't got no groove to save my life. Actually, for my top five, this is the only movie that I did not cry in. And in second place would be 2017's Coco because of course this movie has to be in it. This movie, oh my god, you guys. Also, I cried so much. The songs in this movie, wow, I absolutely love the whole story. I mean, Dia de los Muertos. A lot of people maybe didn't know about Dia de los Muertos, so they kind of get a little taste of what it is and what people do. I don't do that. Our family doesn't do that. But people do that, you know. But, you know, this is something that the culture does do. They do have altars in, you know, their homes. Honestly, when I saw the trailers... I thought the damn little dog's name was Coco. So when Miguel was calling the little dog and I can't remember the dog's name, I was just like, wait, aren't you supposed to be Coco? And then we find out that the damn abuela is Coco. And I'm just like, oh, did not get that from the trailer. <laughs> glad that it was told. I'm glad the way that they did it, the colors, the animation, the voices, everything about it to me was just perfect and i absolutely loved it and i know most of you are like well stephanie if you say that's perfect why is that not your number one and that is because dear viewer my number one pick would be 2016's moana this movie oh my god another one rewatchable so i rewatched so many times i think there was like a moment i think i was watching it like every weekend no joke I'm not even ashamed to say it and you know if you're my family you're like yeah she's really not you guys oh, i love the songs in here especially when that damn crab shining i mean Mona literally leaves her island to you know to save it you know basically leaves it to save it you know he she she goes she's never sold in her life she's never been on her own before and she's doing it because she's the next in line and just shows you the type of you know chief and the type of leader that she's going to be is that she took this challenge she took this you know she actually yeah, took this adventure this purpose this journey this what is it called the word that i'm looking for right there the tip of my tongue five minutes later it's not excursion request quest that's it yeah. yes quest you guys yeah. wow quest uh -huh. where was i going with this i don't know Well, whatever it was, you guys, she was doing the quest. I don't know, you guys. I lost my train of thought trying to figure out what word I was looking for. It was her quest to take the heart back to the island? It was her quest to go find Maui, to mount her boat, to take him to put the heart back to Tefiti. I'm not sure if that's where I was going with it, you guys, but I'm pretty sure that's where I was going to get to at some point. And that's what's gonna be. 
but you gotta love hey hey <laughs> we're gonna go there hey hey stole every scene that he was in yes he did <laughs> all that i have for you because i don't remember where i was going with that and I'm gonna end it there because that's who I am. And if you have a movie that's on your top 10 that is more ridiculous than Sausage Party, guess what? You're in the right channel. You are in the right video because I will not judge you, you guys, because I have weird taste too. And I am darn proud of it, and you should be too. So with that said, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. And just keep looking forward to the rest of my favorites of the decade because there's some more to come. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!